So we shall shall we start on the right? May we? May we? We'll may start we. on the right. Is that that Amy? Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I was just wondering, you're both from the UK, obviously, and um, so you had to sit like your O levels or GCSEs, and I wondered if you had any advice, because like, other than this year, so. Ooh, um, unfortunately, when it comes to things like GCSEs and O levels and A levels, there's no trick. There's no cheating it, unless somebody knows of a good cheat method, please feel free to share it. But as far as I know, it's a bit like learning an instrument or learning how to act or being good at sports. You just have to practice them in O levels or GCSEs. It just means studying. But I do find I used to get together because I missed a lot of school because I was filming a lot. So I'd get together with other friends and study with them because then at least it's, it's still boring but not lonely. Do you know? So, um, yeah, I think find a good study group. Thank you. Uh, second thing I was wondering, what's your favourite alcoholic drink? <laughs> alcoholic drink? We barely touched the stuff, oh, I don't know what's in it. We <laughs> uh, We're very versatile, aren't we? I agree, yeah. We like to mix it up. You can't go wrong with a good G&T, can you, babe? No, Sometimes no. Sometimes I like a good G&T, and I love beer. Yeah. Well, like for example, there's a Tottenham Arsenal game, which is very important, starting at 4.30, and uh -oh. to accompany that game, it would have to be a pint of lager. Uh, but if we were getting on a plane and going somewhere, as we often do, we like to have a little glass of champagne. Should we spoil ourselves? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Bit of molly, bit of molly, bit of molly. But yeah, there's and tequila. I like. It doesn't give me a yeah, tequila. Shut, 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 shut. Don't encourage them. We're supposed to be role models. Uh, I think, you know, it depends on your mood, but, um, yeah, there's, there's just not a lot I don't like. <laughs> Me neither. I don't, that's why we get along. I know, we're yeah. mates. No, I want a drink. Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Thank you. Hi. Hi, Hiya. Hiya. Okay, serious question. Uh oh. Yeah, I know. If you were a peanut, it's not that sexy, but, <laughs> and there's children. But, no, when I was little, I never learned how to crawl. I shuffled, so when I was little, I'd have my feet together like that, and put them in and out, like that. And I also used to suck my thumbs, I was like... And I'd even turn corners. So I didn't actually walk until I was 19 months old, because it's not natural to get up from that, is it? Why would you? But because of that, my hips are really open and flexible. So I would win a twister. Yes. Rebecca would definitely win a twister, because I'm as... I'm gainly as a flamingo with arthritis. <laughs> thank you for your question, and you are adorable. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hiya. Hiya. So Hiya. yesterday, as partner, we posted um, accents. So accents. <laughs> thank so you. I, so I was wondering if you could do your favourite line in a Welsh accent. Where well, yes. is? <laughs> the Queen may be either, but I'm wicked. <laughs> Laura, you can yeah, see. I, know. Yeah. I ask myself that all the time. Maybe they'll offer it to me after this evening. The musical episode. Yeah. 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 Well, Wicked, what would you be about? Uh, I'm, I haven't even seen the show yet, but I'm obsessed with the musical Hamilton because I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm not even a big musical fan, but there's something about that soundtrack. I'm like, this is the most incredible thing I've ever heard. Yeah. And there's a song called Dear Theodosia, which is about about Aaron Burr and Hamilton singing to their infant children. And, you know, I'm a very manly guy, so I can say this, but I can't get through that song without crying. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. So yeah, Hamilton all the way for me. Like, <laughs> 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 what was your reaction when you found out you're going to be working together? Oh, I, I, 
was, I, my, 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 I think my mum was a bit more, ooh, bugger, than I was. <laughs> she, my mum was really excited about Robert Carlyle being on it, and him. She said, oh, I love him. Weren't he on Grey Jill when you were little? <laughs> and EastEnders. So, yeah, I was pretty excited that there's, like, other well-known sexy Brits on the show. It's pretty cool. As was I when I found out that Rebecca was joining, because obviously we joined around the same time, so... <clears throat> and also, we're from fairly similar part of the world, so there's just a kindred spirit uh, kind you, of... you know... Oh look, there's a bird, everyone! <laughs> nice try, Maguire! Nice try! Well, um, I have to be diplomatic and say that, you know, Rebecca is sort of like my sister, so when we read the script that we were going to be kissing each other, I was kind of like... I was mortified! I, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I didn't read it properly! I didn't know I had to kiss him, did I tell you that? I was on set, and it was when you were kissing me and made Marion. Yeah. And it was like, she was going in and out of both of us, and you had to kiss Christy, and then you had to kiss me, and you went, this is sort of like spin the bottle. <laughs> and I'm like, do you like your job, darling? He's like, yeah, it's all right. I did, that was one of those days where I was like, I already get some people that don't like me on, on social media, because, you know, I get to kiss Lana for a living. And then I was like, and now I get to kiss Bex, and now I get to kiss Christy, and this is all like in one scene, I was like, Oh, the hate mail is just going to be piling up for me. But I didn't. Know. I didn't read the script properly, so we got to the scene, and, I, and then in the slides when we went to rehearsal, and then they said we had to kiss you. I'm like, oh my god, I have to kiss Sean. I didn't even realise. It, it was. It was kind of strange. So, like, so to answer your question, it's not when you're doing scenes like that. You know, obviously, as any guy, if, when your job entails kissing Rebecca Maida, Christy Lang, Lana Priya, you just go. <laughs> This is a great job, but they're also my dear friends, and so you, it doesn't kind of spill into, oh, this might get a bit sexual. I mean, Mark, her husband, is one of my best friends, so you're just thinking more, rather than, oh, I'm going to pick who's first, second, and third, you're just thinking, let's get it right, let's, because it was a really important scene, that, as well, and I think both of us were very preoccupied with... <laughs> Sorry, your question, I was completely thrown by the live animals flying around the room. It's uh, fine. Like many of us know, you're all you're both big Friends fans. And, yes. um, I was just wondering if you're on the show, which character would you think would be your best friend? And then um, if you're on the show, which character would you think you relate to most? Oh, well, I definitely want to go shopping with Rachel. Yeah. I feel like she knows what she's doing because she wears a Bloomingdale's. <laughs> but I love the fact that Monica's really tidy, and so am I. But then Charm is really funny, and I feel like he and I would make a wicked couple. <laughs> I, I actually do have the OCD of Monica. I'm, I'm actually that bad. When I was a kid, like sometimes if I'd move the bathroom mat and then I'd go upstairs and go to bed, I'd lie there and I'd go, oh, that's going to drive me mad. <laughs> come back downstairs and straighten them out. Um, I, I always thought Chandler was kind of the funniest because he's just, uh, Matthew Perry's brilliant. Um, but like, who doesn't love Joey? Who doesn't want to have Joey as a man? You know? You know, he's just brilliant. But, um, I'm a bit, do you know what, that, I, I, that question that when I first... Emma Swan, I love you, will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I now want to watch this version of Once Upon a Time more than I did the original. Robin's gone. That was Regina. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do any. <laughs> Oh, I did like a 45 minute slew of them yesterday, but after my Welsh debacle, I think I'll park it. <laughs> Back to your question. I wanted to know, Zelina started as a villain, and there was a development, like, now she has a baby and she's a mom, but I'm kind of wondering, do you think that she's now a hero, or is she in between, or what do you, like, it's a bit I think she's the saviour. I just gave up all my magic to save the whole town. <laughs> For a drink. It's a disgrace. What about me? What about my needs? I literally gave up my magic. That's massive. Magic, magic was the most important thing to her. And she went, Do you know what? It's going to save all my new family. <laughs> Definitely a hero. But no matter what happens on Once Upon a Time, she's always going to be a little bit wicked. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Video. Thank Have you not seen it? No, no that woman is that nice thing. Listen, I don't know this. <laughs> Do you ever go on YouTube, babes? No, I'm not. Really. That's probably why. You know that woman like eats a massive thing of um, cinnamon and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! and she like freaks out and it goes everywhere. I'll show you when we get back to the Look at this. It's really funny. No, but no. thank you for educating me on the cinnamon challenge. You're welcome. 
I will be looking it up as soon as I get off stage. <laughs> and what's supposed to happen? Is it, it like, do you like it or you no, hate it? No, it's hideous. She just did it because it was funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'll give it a try. <laughs> no. Oh, no. If you I won't. I won't. I won't. You do it. I'm videoing it. Very confused. You'll go viral. <laughs> oh, no. I'll have to see a doctor. <laughs>